Hi everyone, in this video we're going to introduce the notion of curvature. So curvature. So the notion of curvature is actually pretty simple. It's just a measure of how sharply a curve bends. So it's the measure of how sharply a curve bends. So curve bends. So let's look at uh, some examples of uh, curvatures. So let's say that we have a curve like this in space and that here we have the point P and here we have the point Q. Then we would say that the curvature of P is greater than the curvature of Q. So the curve clearly bends more at P than at Q. So it bends more here. Right? It's a sharper turn. Right? It's a sharper turn. So let me give you the actual definition, the mathematical definition. And we'll do some, some simple problems uh, where we compute uh, curvature. So C here is going to be a smooth curve. So smooth curve. And, and this time it's given by a vector valued function, except instead of defining the function in terms of t, we define it in terms of the arc length, so r of s. Right, so uh, S here is called the arc length parameter. So S is the arc length. That should be two words. Arc length parameter. And so we define the curvature uh, at a point S or at, at S as follows. So the curvature at S is k equals, so after we, once we travel a distance s, remember s is an arc length, so we're, we're defining the vector valued function in terms of the arc length. So we use k for curvature, and it's just the magnitude of dt over ds, which is basically just the magnitude of t prime of s. So t here is the unit uh, tangent vector. Let's go ahead and do a simple problem where we use this formula to compute the curvature. So let's do, how about this one? So we have r. And again, it's given in terms of the arc length parameter. That's the only time this formula works, right? There's other formulas uh, where it'll work if r is given in terms of t. Uh, but in this video, we're just going to focus on this formula. So this is 1 plus square root of 2 over 2s i hat plus 1 minus square root of 2 over 2s j hat. So if you work this out, like if you call this x and you call this y, and you rewrite this uh, in rectangular coordinates, you'll see that this is a line. So a line um, doesn't bend at all. So the curvature in this problem should be equal to zero, right? So the curvature of a line in general is always zero. Let's go ahead and work it out, though, uh, to verify. So solution. So we'll start by taking the derivative. So r prime of s. So the derivative of 1 is zero. And then the derivative of this piece here well, the derivative of s is 1, so we simply get the square root of 2 over 2, i hat. And then this derivative here is 1, and then here uh, the derivative of s is 1, so we get minus the square root of 2 over 2, j hat. So that's our r, our r prime. So recall that uh, t prime of s, well, what is t? t of s is equal to r prime of s over the magnitude of r prime of s. So we have to work this out, and then we can compute t prime. Okay, so we have r prime of s. Uh, the magnitude of r prime of s 
If you recall from a previous video, um, it's always a unit vector, right? So this is one. If you work it out though, you would get one, let's do it, square root of two over two, squared plus negative square root of two over two, squared. This is equal to the square root of, well, you just get two over four, plus two over four. So you get four over four, which is one, so the square root of one is one, so it checks. So you do get one. So now we can form big T. So big T of S, well, this is equal to, well, you just use this formula, right? So it'll be R prime, which is right here, divided by one. So it's exactly the same thing, right? It's because we're dividing it by this, which is one. So it's just the square root of two over two, I hat, minus the square root of two over two, J hat. All right, so now we just have to compute t prime of s. Well, doing that, we just get zero, right? This is just equal to the zero vector. It's zero i hat minus zero j hat, which is simply the zero vector. And k is equal to the magnitude of that, right? It's equal to the magnitude of t prime of s. Well, it's just the magnitude of zero. It's the magnitude of the zero vector which is just the number zero. So the curvature of this line is zero. So I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.